Last time on You Can't Do That on Xbox. Utram and I return from our hiatus on Slack's Island to continue working on season two of the show. Thanks to a creepy Windows paperclip under mm, Ubuntu, Utram and I find the forgotten episodes. Thus, the release of... Welcome to You Can't Do That on Xbox, the show where I present custom content from around the world. If you grew up in the late 90s and had a PlayStation 1, chances are you had some kind of Crash Bandicoot title in your collection of games. Now at this point, you're probably asking yourself why. Why am I talking about a console game? It's actually pretty simple. It's a classic from my childhood, which was made into a campaign for Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, called Crash Bandicoot Course. It's just as zany, has the same textures, and even has audio from the original game. The only difference this time around is that it has something that I always thought was lacking from the Crash Bandicoot series. Guns and explosives. So, without further delay, here's Crash Bandicoot Course for Left 4 Dead 2. This campaign is so awesome that it doesn't even need an introduction. So just like the original, we start at N Sanity Beach. Is this some kind of sick joke? Well, yes. anybody who survives this shit is gonna be in great shape. Well, as long as okay, Rob. Yeah, first. whatever you say. I'm reloading. Ah, the author must have had the same thoughts while he was playing the original too. Oh, and for the record, low gravity and infinite ammo don't come with this campaign. We thought a zany map should have zany server functions. If you want to play this as seriously as possible, please consult your local psychiatrist. And so we travel through the jungle, jumping over pits, opening crates, pressing a switch on one of the metal boxes to summon a horde. Then after you pass that, you'll find two paths. And where from there? The safe room! But why end the fun so soon? Let's really get crazy. Fire coming! Grenade! Go to pipe. Heads up! Inside now! Get inside! level the safe room has a button. Let's see what happens when we press it. Don't be surprised. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. I'm up here on fire. You're covered in boomer shit. Now you have to kill three of these things to get past the almost cheat proof lasers. But if you get past that you can press another button which teleports you to the cardboard cortex turning on his laser. <laughs> the riser is now complete. Engine, bring in the test subject. The testicles? Ah! 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 
Eventually, the door opens after something screws up out there. Hey, I'm alone in here with a zombie chick. Don't mess with me. A dead zombie chick. You're lying. You're playing with hey, yourself. Don't. I can't perform when you're watching. I'm too self-conscious. Another interesting thing about this campaign is the random writings, the random pictures, and... What the hell is Spyro doing here? Also, the pants are dead. Anyway, after playing with the laser, we head through a teleporter that takes us to our next destination, where we find a boat. Then, as you cross the lake, you have the option of finding the two green question marks, if you want to. We find the safe room, but in order to get in, we have to alert the locals. But why end it there? Let's invite more friends. You quit alerting the horror. In the next level, we even get penguins. But before we go any further, have you seen this man? That's not a man. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's not a man. If it was a man, he'd have a whisker on his face. That's no man. That's, that's a boy. That's a little boy. Huh. That must be the man. After defeating the tank, you'll need to start the teleporter generator. Then the teleporter takes us to the lair of Ripper Roo, who appears from a large stack of TNT. This part was actually pretty boring in my opinion. All he's doing is jumping around really slowly while you dump almost, if not all of your ammo into him. Her. Whatever. After defeating it, you gain access to another teleporter, which gives you a trail of fruit and a safe room. Then in the finale, we are introduced to Tikimon the Totem God, plus cardboard cortex flying overhead in his little spaceship. But fear not, because the remaining Left 4 Dead 1 survivors are here to help you. After you defeat him, you make your way down to the beach where a boat happens to be waiting for you. Hey, I was on the roof and it put me inside. That wasn't fair. The game's broken. Give me a hat valve. And that's Crash Bandicoot Course. This was a great nostalgic throwback to 90s gaming. The side games are buggy, but a nice touch. As is the music and even throwing in the original characters. It's clear by all the extra models and attention and detail that they really put a lot of effort into this campaign. Plus, they made a dream come true for me. Carrying a chain gun in Crash Bandicoot? You can't do that on Xbox. Or even the PlayStation for that matter. If you're looking for something nostalgic to play, or something to laugh at, this is a must. I'm Overlord Tamala, ruining it for everyone else since 2004.